This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. There are only two weeks to go now until the start of the National High School Track and Field Championships, and this year's edition is going to look like the 242's version of Champs in Jamaica. I think we already have 64 schools ready, schools from Abaco, Elutra, Exuma, Cat Island, Grand Bahama. We were doing Grand Bahama last week. Um, we have 10 schools coming out of Grand Bahama, and so the competition is going to be really hot and we really see who are the national champions in every single category in track and field. I want to encourage everyone to come out and buy your VIP ticket for $10. This is going to be a great event. Come on down and buy your tickets today. Now trash talking is already underway ahead of the high school nationals and is being led by a group of former students. The blue waves are going to come strong. So, I'm class of 1978. I was a head boy there. They need to figure out who come in second. Mm -hmm. I am here to represent SAC, mm -hmm. and we're going to be in our regular position. We, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Who's number one? SAC in the belly. Whap! The Crusader <laughs> Nation is large, and it's here. Uh, I'm a proud alumni of Nassau Christian Academy, and so we're saying to all of the Crusader Nation, the National Champs 2015 is going to be an exciting event. All the Crusaders need to be there. We're going to be there in strong, good numbers. And as you know, I don't mind what Sack says. I don't even mind what Sinan says. Let the talkers talk. We're going to come out and we're going to do our thing with Crusader Nation. NCA all the way through. Action continuing yesterday. The 32nd Hugh Campbell Basketball Classic. The Jordan Prince William Falcons got into the tournament after the Grand Bahama teams dropped out. And they made the most of their opportunity, beating South Andrews 71-45. Jefferson Oliver led the Falcons with 23 points and 10 rebounds. Michael Bethel chipped in with 18 points while Randon Scott added 17. South Andrews got a game-high 30 points from Brendan Roll. It was another school who got in due to Grand Bahama's absence and they too got off to a winning start, knocking off North Andrews 41-39. This time they are normally in uh, Long Island. This is the first, my first Hugh Campbell after 10 years of coaching. And uh, the first Hugh Campbell, first victory, it feels sort of good to me, you know. It's a very disappointing loss. I think uh, the guys are a little fatigued from the flight, waking up early this morning. And then we just came out uh, flat-footed in the first quarter. You know, at the end of the first quarter, the score was 10-2. to two. We scored two points in the first quarter, which was ridiculous. And to come back and lose the game by two points, you know, it's a tough loss, but it's a good wake-up call for the guys and along with myself. They have to be more mentally prepared and focused in order for us to continue in this tournament and go further. My team is going to get better as we go forward in this uh, Hugh Campbell session. You know, I didn't really come to compete. Not saying talking hard or bragging, but I didn't just come to compete. I come to see if I can win. Win me seems to be impossible to say that on a blessed Thursday, but only God will happen on Monday to come. It's either win or go home. And right now, we, we're not prepared to go home right now. All right, so the bottom line is we gotta come out here playing. And I feel confident about our next game. The elimination process also getting underway yesterday at the Hugh Campbell tournament. And the first team sent packing was the Aquinas Aces. They fell to St. John's 63-43. Big, big and stronger. My, go, my boys got very tired. Besides that, they put on a good performance, man. We just gotta keep working. Can't never give up, you know. They was, we was down with five. We was raining it. Too much turnovers, missed layups. But uh, we can change that. The North Long Island High High School Jamboree that's also taking place this week. And tonight, Julian Gibson speaks with one of the contenders. Benson, one of the teams to watch for this year at the North Long Island High School Basketball Jamboree, Charles W. Saunders, coach. How you feel your junior boys is gonna do? Well, um, it's a pretty young team, but um, we're back in the tournament. We've been absent for a little while, and um, it's a growing program, and so uh, it's a developmental program, and so it's a good opportunity to see how they're looking. And um, I'm sure the boys will apply themselves, you know, getting adjusted. They came in a little early, so we could, um, you know, shake off the rust, and hopefully we could uh, do a good showing this year. How oh, hard your junior boys been working? I've uh, been working pretty hard. We've been practicing every day. Um, every opportunity we get, they've been putting in the time, and so um, we're just going to see what is the fruit of their labor. 
Is it fair to say the championship trophy will be headed back to Charles W. Saunders? Well, um, we're very hopeful that um, we're going to be entering uh, both the junior divisions, A and B. So um, hopefully we'll be able to carry both trophies back to CW Saunders and Prince Charles. So with two teams in the big dance, well, Charles W. Saunders hoping to strike at least gold and silver with both teams. In Long Island, reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Postseason action got underway last night in the Providence Volleyball Association. Up first in ladies' play, the Central Gas Panthers pulled the upset, winning in a five-set marathon over the Johnson Truckers, 30-28, 25-23, 18-25, 18-25, and 15-8. In this game, just trying to prove a point. This game was to prove that there's a new generation of volleyball and we're ready to play. Next game, we just need to work on serving the ball consistently and being um, defensively sound, staying in base, and staying in our positions. In man's play last night, the Scotia Bank defenders look in championship form. They put away the intruders in straight sets 25 22, 25 23, and 25 21. A new generation of amateur boxing coaches getting ready to take the Bahamas by storm. Tonight, Charles Fisher introduces us to the trio. The three young coaches all come with their own style. Valentino Knowles just happy to be alive. This time last year, he was involved in a life-changing experience where he was mistakenly shot several times, and he's thankful to God. He's been here. He's delivered me through my testimony. So I had my testimony and my deliverance in once. Um, he's opened new doors, new revenues for me. I see a lot of success coming from it because me, myself, being one of the top amateur fighters in the country and representing the country on the international circuit, along with Lavar, who went down to Cuba, earned his bachelor's degree, and Kayla Johnson, like he said, who's here, and she'll be the first leading female coach for female boxers so that brings something new to the table which we didn't have and we're going to see some success from both males and females in the near future. Lavar Stewart is ready to throw punches and make the Bahamas proud. We have been challenged by the Bahamian public to to show results for for of, of what we can do and we accept the challenge. And um, anybody who's been here in the last couple of days or last couple of weeks has seen the new regime that we've put forth and can see that we can guarantee success. The lady of the group, Kayla Johnson, but don't let that pretty look fool you. The team of coaches that we have on board today, we are presenting a new, it's a new dimension right now. We're bringing order and we're bringing class to the sport. Whereas, we're empowering youth to be disciplined to the sport of boxing, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Lavar summed it up best, a team effort. Valentino knows he brings the, the athletic experience and, 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 and aspect, sports aspect to it. Kayla Johnson brings the intensity. I bring a scientific aspect to it, and I think we make a great team to uh, lead, lead our, our future Bahamas um, towards victory. The three coaches will still have to attend a number of courses before receiving their certification from the International Amateur Boxing Association. For ZNS Total Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. The second edition of the Dan Marino and Friends Bahamas Weekend will take place on Saturday at the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. And this year's event will feature a flag football game between the Miami Dolphin legends and an all-star team made up of local talent. Marino is still 30 in his mind, and a lot of us are starting to realize that we're not as young as we used to be, but, you know, Mark Duper can't wait. Uh, uh, we got Sam Madison, Pat Sertan, a couple of young guys, Lewis Oliver. We've been bringing back old Jim Jensen and, and Joe Rose. So we're going to have a fantastic group that, they're, you know, they're really looking to, to get out there and show their stuff. Mike Foster, you know, he's all excited saying we bring him out of retirement. Uh, you know, we have uh, Lauren Shepard, and he's one of the guys who put the team together. We have a number of ladies from the flag football, you know, so we kind of mix it up with male and female. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we want to encourage everybody to come out and watch some first-class football. The bomb is only 46 miles from, from the Dolphins camp, and I think we need to, to build that base, build that camaraderie with the Dolphins and with the kids, and, you know, that's um, telling the kids that, hey, you, you could be a Dolphin um, player as you if you educate yourself and dedicate yourself to the sport 
The kids clinic will take place in the morning. The flag football game will kick off at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And you true Dolphin fans want to come out and see some real good football. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas Tonight comes back after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.